Good afternoon, my colleague. The topic today is plague. Uh, plague is characterized by transmissive mechanism, formation of serosal hemorrhagical inflammation in lymphatic nodes, destruction of the lung and other organs, and the etiology of plague is Yersinia pestis, which contain of V and W antigen. And we must remember that uh, bacteria preserved in human of the patient and, uh, and animals corpus, corpses for 60 days. Bacteria synthesize the toxins and, uh, uh, for example, fibrinolysin, neuraminidase, pesticides, anaphylactic factors, which cause the increasing of permeability of blood vessels, depression of phagocytosis, it causes the formation of generalization of infection, bacteremia, metastatic focus of infection. And uh, endotoxin, it is products of destruction of Yersinia. Uh, it is uh, lipopolysaccharides, muscle toxins, cytokines, uh, which cause the toxic and metabolic disorders, disorders of function of different tokens, polyogens insufficiency, toxic shock, and death of the patient. Uh, and uh, reservoir of infection uh, are red rodents. Uh, and uh, in anthropogenic focuses of infection, uh, reservoir and sources of infection is gray red and black red. Sometimes sources of infection may be patient with pulmonary forms of infection, with pulmonary, pulmonary forms of plague. And uh, factors of transmission of infection is fleas, ticks, and mechanism of infection is transmissive. Uh, bite of fleas, bite of ticks when bacteria penetrate to organism of the patients. Maybe aerogenic mechanism, for example, too. And uh, uh, there are some clinical forms of infection, uh, pulmonary uh, ways of transmission may be aerogenic in pulmonary forms, contact, and alimentary ways of transmission. Yes, in pulmonary forms may be aerogenic, contact, alimentary ways of transmission. And natural focus of infection is Africa and Asia. Uh, let's speak about uh, pathogenesis of uh, plague and uh, uh, so there is epithelial barrier of infection, then bite of flea, bite of tick, or aerogenic mechanism of transmission when uh, bacteria penetrate to uh, epithelium, then to uh, lymph regional lymphatic nodes. Uh, and uh, cause uh, infiltration, inflammatory, inflammational alteration of skin, formation of ulcers. It causes the formation of cutaneous forms, bubonic forms, destruction of the lung. 
So it causes activation of uh, phagocytosis, neutrophilosis, migration of phagocytes to infection foc focus, uh, synthesis of cytokines, which cause the destruction of tissue, formation of destruction of the epithelium, formation of ulcers with necrosis, cause hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue in radical uh, lymphatic nodes. It causes the formation of bubons. Bubons, it is big uh, lymphatic nodes. And toxins interleukins cause the destruction of the lung, formation of serological, hemorrhagical alteration of the lung, respiratory insufficiency. It causes the destruction of gastrointestinal syndrome. Uh, and uh, it causes the formation of bacteremia, prolonged bacteremia, depression of phagocytosis, increasing permeability of blood vessels, and formation of septic focus of infection and polyorgans insufficiency. Metastatic focus of infection may be in the lung, for example, which is formation of secondary pulmonary forms of uh, plague. It is uh, severe forms of infection and it's uh, characterized by formation of toxic shock, uh, which characterized by massive endotoxinemia, exotoxinemia, uh, decreasing of blood vessels, spasm of arterioles, disturbances of microcirculation, metabolic disorders, polyorgans insufficiency, decreasing of uh, microcirculation, microthrombosis of blood vessels. Uh, let's speak about the clinic of uh, plague. Period of incubation is from three up to six days. It's characterized by acute manifestation, fever, intoxication, chemological elements on the skin, and the pathogenic symptoms of plague is choked down. Uh, and uh, uh, we know such classification of infection, classification of infection by famous uh, Russian side scientist, doctors, Rudnev, uh, is characterized by such clinical forms of plague. Local form, it is cutaneous, bubonic, combined variant of local form. And general form of plague, for example, primary septic forms and sec secondary septic forms. Uh, and primary pulmonary forms and uh, secondary pulmonary forms. And uh, uh, septic externally variant, it is disseminated variant, it causes the formation of pulmonary forms, primary pulmonary forms, secondary pulmonary forms, intestinal forms. So such clinical classification of plague. Uh, and uh, now let's speak about uh, characteristic of those forms. At first we will skip about local forms, discutaneous forms, bubonic, and uh, mixed combined forms of local forms. For example, cutaneous forms characterized by increasing of the temperature, intoxication, and formation of uh, 
primary effects on the skin, papule vesicle, then ulcers with necrosis. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it is cutaneous forms when we observe the formation of necrosis of the skin and formation of the ulcers. Next form, bubonic form, when bacteria penetrate lymphatic nodes cause the kyproplasia of lymphoid tissue and formation of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes. Bubons in regional lymphatic nodes. It is big lymphatic nodes. The size is more than of 4 cm. Very dense, painful in palpation. Periodinitis, sometimes purulent destruction of bubons. Next forms is combined forms, skin bubonic forms. It's characterized by acute manifestation, increasing of the temperature, toxic syndrome, and uh, formation of ulcers on the skin, spot, papium, vesicle, ulcers on the skin, formation of necrosis patch of ulcer, and then formation of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes. Formation of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes. Very tense, pain, with periodinitis and sometimes formation of purulent destruction of bubons. Uh, and uh, Next, from general form, when formation of generalization of infection, prolonged bacteremia, exotoxinemia, when the indication at first local forms, for example, cutaneous, bubonic forms, and then formation of generalization of infection and formation of clinic of sepsis, septic form. Because we speak about primary, primary uh, septic forms and secondary septic forms. Uh, and uh, if uh, cutaneous bubons forms of infection, uh, previous formation of previous uh, generalization, we speak about secondary septic forms. After local forms, formation generalization and formation of sepsis septic clinic of the patient. It is secondary septic forms. It's characterized by higher fever, intoxication, cardiovascular insufficiency, respiratory insufficiency, hemorrhagical rash on the skin, splena megaly, gepata megaly, and formation metastatic focus of infection. In the lung, in the brain, for example, in joints, formation of secondary focus of infection. Symptoms of pneumonia, encephalitis, abscess of the liver, and others clinic of metastatic focus of infection. Formation of Septic shock, cardiovascular insufficiency, and polyorgans insufficiency. Next, primary septic forms characterized by uh, formation, general forms of infection, formation of uh, clinic of sepsis without local forms of infection, without cutaneous bubonic forms of plague. So it is manifestation, uh, high fever, intoxication, hemorrhagical rash, splenum megaly, gepatum megaly, uh, respiratory insufficiency, 
polyorgans insufficiency, formation of metastatic focus of infection in different organs, in the lung, in the brain, in the liver, for example, formation of abscess of the lung, abscess of the liver. Abscess uh, of the brain, because migration bacteria to internal organs cause increase, increasing of permeability of blood, of blood vessels and migration, phagocytes, macrophages, neurocytes, granulocytes, so uh, synthesis of interleukins, cause the destruction of the cells, toxic metabolic syndrome. Uh, so, and formation of necrosis of tissue, uh, and uh, then formation of infection granulomes, and then destruction of the tissue of internal organs and formation of metastatic focus of infection. Next, next form, septic external form, it is disseminated from two, and in those forms we observe the formation of pulmonary, primary form, secondary pulmonary form, intestinal form. So, it is uh, disseminated from two, and in those variants, dominate a uh, clinic of destruction of the lung, formation of uh, syndrome of pneumonia, it is a typical pneumonia, and uh, infection granulomes localized in the lung, it increasing of permeability of blood vessels, migration of, of uh, phagocytes, macrophages, destruction of the tissue, uh, formation of necrosis, abscess of the lung. It's characterized by formation of um, respiratory insufficiency, dyspnea, acrosanosis, diffusion sanosis, sputum, hemorrhagical sputum, sputum with uh, pural intent, hemorrhagical admixtures, uh, and uh, secondary pulmonary forms. Uh, which characterized by at first formation of local forms of infection, for example, cutaneous, bubonic forms, uh, combined forms, then disseminated of infection and formation of metastatic focus in the lung. So, which characterized by formation of destruction of the lung, respiratory insufficiency, polyorgans insufficiency, Cyanosis, diffusion cyanosis. Intestinal forms, it is characterized, uh, it is a uh, variance of disseminated form 2 because it's characterized by high fever, intoxication, formation of gastrointestinal syndrome, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, syndrome of gastroenteritis, syndrome of gastroenterocolitis. Formation of vomiting and stool with blood admixtures because activation of disseminated hemorrhagical syndrome. So, such characteristic of different forms. But we must remember that those infections, which is severe infection, it's characterized by the Marked intoxication, hemorrhagical rash on the skin, yes, because destruction of blood vessels, formation of hemorrhagia on the skin, uh, choked tongue, plague mask, yes, and cardiovascular insufficiency, respiratory insufficiency, renal insufficiency, polyorgans insufficiency, formation of general forms of infection septic forms, pulmonary forms, uh, and death of the patient. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, differentiation um, plague with other infections. For example, staphylococcal cabunculus, lymphadenopathy, pneumonia, sepsis, anthrax. Uh, for example, cabunculus, pure lung cabunculus of staphylococcal etiology, yes, fluctuation and pure lung exudation. Lymphadenopathy characterized by uh, such infection, for example, regional lymphadenopathy, general lymphadenopathy, for example, erysipelas, anthrax, when increasing of regional lymphatic nose, nose angina, diphtheria, infection mononucleosis, which characterized by hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue, consistency of uh, those lymphatic nodes, general forms of symptoms. For example, in uh, angina, we indication syndrome of tonsillitis and increasing of submaxilla, mandibula, uh, lymphatic nodes. And in diphtheria, syndrome of tonsillitis, fibrinic patch on tonsils, and formation of increasing of regional submandibular lymphatic nodes. In infection mononucleosis, the indication fever, lymphadenopathy, general lymphadenopathy. There is no bubons, yes, periodontitis. So we indicate so uh, syndrome of tonsillitis, purulent and necrotic patch of tonsils. Gepatous plenomegaly, so atypical mononuclear, so such differentiation. Pneumonia, what clinic of pneumonia, for example, uh, staphylococcal pneumonia, streptococcal, pneumococcal pneumonia. It is focus of infection in the lung, infiltration of the lung, formation pneumonia after influenza, after virus infection. Sometimes viral pneumonia may be uh, respiratory insufficiency. Mm. Another anamnesis uh, in the patients. There is no contact with rodents, yes, uh, in those patients. Purulent mixtures, purulent mixtures in sputum, yes. So clinic of sepsis, for example, staphylococcal sepsis. Staphylococcal, streptococcal, uh, endogenic bacteria which cause sepsis. So it is immunodeficiency patient with immunodeficiency conditions. Maybe primary focus of infection and then generalization of infection. For example, pneumonia, cholangitis, arthritis, pilonephritis. Skin infection, so then cause generalization and formation of general forms of infection, formation of metastatic focus of infection in different organs. Demoragical vasculitis, um, splenomegaly, gepatomegaly, hyperleukocytosis, and positive reaction on blood culture. Then anthrax, which is zoonotic infection. Uh, sources of infection is agricultural animals, cows, lambs, goats. Uh, respiratory contact, alimentary mechanism of transmission and formation of Cabuncles on the skin with necrosis, with secondary papules around the ulcers, ulcers with necrosis around secondary vesicles, increasing of the ulcers, marked edema. So it is cabuncle forms of anthrax. There is no pain of the ulcers. 
So many variants of differentiation of uh, plague. Let's speak about diagnostic of plague. We must remember that very important analysis of the patients living in endemic region, Asia, for example, Africa, uh, contact with rodents, bite of tick, bite of flea, when transmission bacteria to macroorganisms. And uh, it is convention infectious, and we must remember about bacteriological methods of examinations. So, uh, bacteriological test of from exudation from ulcers. Uh, so, um, gemoculture, sputum culture, feces culture in general forms of infection. Biological test on the rats, on the rabbits. Serological methods of examinations. Reaction of gem agglutination. ELISE methods when the indication antibodies of bacteria. And polymerase reaction when the indication bacteria from sputum, from um, feces, from mucus, from blood in those infections. Uh, and the treatment uh, of infection, treatment of infection, you see, Cutaneous forms we administer quatrimoxazole, uh, 480 milligram, two times per day during 10 days. In bubonic forms we recommend levomycetine, 500 milligram, two times during 10 days. So, uh, Streptomycin in bubonic forms to 1 gram per day during 10 days. Tetracycline 0 0.3 3 times per day during 10 days. So it is treatments of local forms, cutaneous and bubonic forms. Next, treatments of pulmonary and septic forms of infection. We administer levomycetin, streptomycin, tetracycline. So, combine antibiotic treatments uh, for stabilization of clinic and laboratory test of those patients. Maybe uh, two, three, four weeks of antibiotic treatments in general forms of infection, in maximal dose of antibiotics, only intravenously. Uh, so, yes, it is treatments of um, dif uh, disseminated and uh, general septic forms of infection, pulmonary and septic forms. So, so uh, what about pro prophylactic of plague? Uh, we must remember about vaccination, group of risk, for example, animal breeders, agronomist, hunter, geologist, archaeologist. So, uh, those people who work in focus, of infection, natural focus of infection, and can contact with rodents. Uh, so, and what about uh, 
prophylactic prevention of infections, we must uh, remember about isolation of the people which contact uh, with the patients, isolation and observation during six days, and current and final uh, disinfection or focus of infection. So uh, let's look at some pictures of those topic. You see a spread plague in the world. So high level of morbidity of uh, uh, plague in those countries. You see Asia, Africa, America, North and South America. In those regions, uh, there were real infected, uh, infected uh, animals and was registered cases of the plague uh, in population. Source of infection, rats, rodents, gray rats, uh, black rats. Uh, factors of transmission is uh, tick in organism of those uh, micro of, uh, those uh, tick may be uh, plagues and bite of ticks uh, which cause the uh, penetration plague uh, to organism of the patients. Bite of flea, yes, transmissive mechanism of infection. Circulation infection in population. You see, um, circulation bacteria in, in the nature focus, in the ground, uh, in uh, tick, in flea, then uh, penetration infection to rodents, uh, then penetrate uh, contact to patients, uh, bite of tick, bite of flea, penetration. Um, bacteria to organism of the patients, so uh, such uh, circulation of plague in animals and in population of the patients. So maybe aerogenic mechanism is in pulmonary forms uh, of plague. So you see bubons in original lymphatic nodes. You see massive bones with periodontitis, with the purulent exudation in the patients. Uh, yes, it is a mask uh, of the doctor, uh, which uh, treats the patients with plague. In Middle Ages, doctor's costume in the Middle Ages in epidemia of plague in Europe. Those masks for prevention, respiratory and contact mechanism of transmission. Next infection we will speak today is tuleremia. We differentiated plague and tuleremia, and now we will speak uh, tuleremia. Infection agent is Francisella tularensis. It is gram-negative bacteria, encapsulate aerobic, contains such, such antigen or HV antigen. Keep membrane of Francisella tularensis. Reservoir of infection is uh, rodents, hares, birds, dogs. So it is zoonotic infection. Factors of transmission is tick, mosquitoes, 
flee and fly. Bite of uh, tick, mosquitoes, bite of flea and fly cause the, the infection of the patients. Because of the indication, transmission mechanism, but not only transmission, yes, respiratory aerogenic mechanism. With, uh, in contact, during the contact with uh, animals, rodents, dogs, high hairs, uh, and uh, alimentary mechanism and contact mechanism after contact with animals. Uh, so, and uh, let's speak about pathogenesis of infection when uh, bacteria penetrate to uh, the skin or to respiratory system or intestinal tract. Uh, then it causes uh, bacteremia, intoxication, increasing of the temperature. Yes, In, on the skin, uh, after bite uh, of a tick, for example, formation of Spot, papule, vesicle, postals, formation the ulcer, and uh, it causes reproduction bacteria in area lymphatic nodes, which cause proliferation of lymphatic nodes and formation of bonds in regional lymphatic nodes. So, formation of bacteremia and the toxinemia. Some of bacteria penetrate to internal organs and formation of secondary granulums in the lung, uh, in the liver, in the brain, in, t in the tissue. So, uh, increasing of uh, permeability of blood vessels, exudation of phagocytes, macrophages, formation of infection granulums. So it causes the formation of general forms of infection, yes, and formation um, infection granulums in the lung, liver, spleen, uh, increasing of destruction of blood vessels, formation of the rash on the skin, hemorrhagical rash, uh, formation of metastatic focus of infection, in the liver, lung, and spleen. So, uh, specific granuloma with focus of necrosis, yes, uh, migration and uh, in accumulation of granulocytes, uh, and then destruction of lymphatic nodes, formation of necrosis, destruction, and then sclerosis of the bones. So, as in plague, uh, the indication uh, local and general forms of infection. So, sources of infection, rodents, rats, hairs, Dogs, factors of transmission, tick, bite of tick, bite of flea, bite of fly. Let's speak about the clinic of toleremia. Period of incubation from three up to seven days. It could rise by high fever, intoxication. Uh, what character of the fever? Just maybe constant, intermittent fever, wavy fever. And uh, the fever lasts during two or three weeks. So, in, on examination of the patients, we indicate gypremia of face, exanthems, for example, 
rash on the skin, erythematose rash, papule rash, gepatosplenomegaly, splenomegaly, so increasing liver and spleen, because activation of mesenchymal reaction, migration of phagocytes, macrophax, in stroma of internal organs. So it is general symptoms, general reaction of organism of infection. But when indication classification of tuleremia, for example, bubonic forms, ulcerative bubonic forms, angina bubonic forms, ocular bubonic forms, pulmonary bubonic forms, abdominal forms, and general forms. So the indication acute, prolonged, and recurrent forms of infection, relapse forms. Uh, so uh, let's speak about those clinic forms. At first, like, let's speak about bubonic forms. It is local forms of infection characterized by formation of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes. Increasing of the temperature, intoxication, gepatosplenomegaly, then uh, rash on the skin, and bubons in regional lymphatic nodes. Uh, increasing of lymphatic nodes, but uh, there is no painful elastic uh, bubons in the regional lymphatic nodes. There is very seldom uh, destruction, pure destruction of bubons. Next local variance is uh, ulterative bubonic forms, when formation of ulcers and then bubons, um, formation of spot, papule, vesicle, ulcers, then formation of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes in the patients with the fever and intoxication. Next, formation of angina bubonic forms, for example, formation of tonsillitis with necrotic patch, hyperplasia of tonsils, uh, and the formation of necrotic patch and tonsils. Uh, and, uh, Formation of bubons in submandibular regional lymphatic nodes. Then ocular bubonic forms, formation of um, scleritis, conjunctivitis, cirrhosal purulent exudation from eyes, hyperplasia, chemregia on uh, sclera, conjunctiva, and formation of bubons uh, in regional lymphatic nodes. Pulmonary forms, it is characterized by the fever, intoxication, dyspnea, uh, from dry cough, productive cough, interstitial pneumonia, focus or uh, pneumonic focus uh, in the lung or on x-ray, focus of infiltration on the lung, so increasing of pulmonary lymphatic nodes, hyperplasia of pulmonary uh, lymphatic nodes. Abdominal forms characterized by nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, syndrome of gastroenterocolitis. And general forms of infection in immunodeficiency patients, then formation prolonged forms of bacteremia, endotoxinemia, penetration bacteria to internal organs, and formation of secondary focus of infection. And formation clinic of sepsis, for example, higher fever, gectic fever, gepatosplenomegaly, gemeragical, rash and formation, secondary focus of infection in the lung 
in the brain, in the liver, formation of infection granulomes, and destruction of secondary focus of infection. So, indication acute prolonged recurrent forms. For example, uh, for example prolonged forms uh, characterized by uh, when the patients uh, characterized by keep clinic of infection more than one month. And rec recurrent form is uh, relapse of infection after decreasing of the temperature in period of recovery, then increasing of the temperature formation uh, eruption on the skin, megaly, and, uh, for example, symptoms of intoxication in cases of relapse variants of infection. Uh, so pulmonary forms, so bronchitis um, and pneumonic variant, yes, bronchitis and pneumonic variant characterized by symptoms of bronchitis, dry cough, uh, or productive cough with pure on spilled. Uh, pneumonic variant characterized by uh, dyspnea and formation of infiltration in the lung, interstitial pneumonia. Dyspnea, acrosanosis, and increasing of pulmonary lymphatic nodes. General forms characterized by fever, rash on the skin, rosellus rash, gemeragical rash, petechial rash. So, differentiation, uh, toleremia and to other infections, lymphadenitis, yes, uh, for example, staphylococcal, this cause destruction of lymphoid tissue and uh, exudation of uh, purulent exudation. Lymphogranulomatosis, it is gemoblastosis with the hyperleukocytosis uh, and uh, general lymphadenopatia, gepotomegalia. Pneumonia characterized by dyspnea and uh, infiltration of the lung. Uh, lymphosarcoma too, which is biopsia, maybe. Yes, sometimes if the patient with um, increasing of lymphatic nodes. And we don't know diagnosis. And for differentiation for uh, different forms of infections and disease, we administer biopsia of lymphoid tissue. In uh, lymphosarcoma, we indicate uh, uh, atypical cells, yes, atypical uh, tumor cells, atypical cells. And uh, in uh, toleremia, we indication hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue. Phalenosis, uh, infection after contacts with cats, more often diagnosis in the children, uh, and uh, it's characterized by general lymphadenopathia, gebotosplenomegalia, and subfibrillary temperature. Infection mononucleosis, uh, the fever, lymphadenopathia, syndrome of tonsillitis, gebotosplenomegalia. Ornithosis, it is infection after contact with birds, it is zoonotic infection. It's characterized by pneumonia, flu-like syndrome, uh, and uh, formation of atypical pneumonia, interstitial character of pneumonia, marked intoxication, sometimes gepatosplenomegaly, rosellus rash on the skin. And Q fever, it is a typical pneumonia too, interstitial pneumonia. Infection agent is uh, uh, Rickettsia bernetta. 
it is zoonotic infection after con contact with agricultural animals, sometimes uh, bite of fly, bite of tick, characterized by the fever, rosella thrush, and interstitial pneumonia. So we indication antibodies in blood, in ornithosis, in cofiva, specific, specific antibodies by reaction uh, of connection of complement, uh, of immunofluorescence, of reaction of uh, non-direct gem agglutination. What complication in polyremia? Pneumonic forms, yes, we spoke. Progressive of pneumonia, progressive of infiltration of the lung, dyspnea, intoxication, acrosanosis. Toxic shock in uh, pneumonic forms, in general forms of infection, which characterized by decreasing of the temperature of um, blood uh, arterial blood pressure, dyspnea, decreasing of diuresis, encephalopathy uh, and uh, polyorgans insufficiency of the patients. Sometimes meningitis when uh, francisella tularensis penetrate to gematoencephalic barrier and cause the formation of serosal meningitis, meningeal symptoms and uh, serosal alteration of the liquor. Meningoencephalitis, formation of mening meningeal symptoms. Uh, neuroparalysis, para paralytic syndrome, paresis, paralysis, uh, focus syndrome, disorders of consciousness of the patients. Myocarditis, polyarthritis, too, in prolonged forms of infection. It is target organs which cause deformation in prolonged forms or relapse, recurrent forms of infection. What about laboratory diagnostic? For example, reaction of non-direct gemagglutination when the indication uh, antibodies of Francisella tularensis and increasing of titus of antibodies. Antibodies class M, class G, then increasing and decreasing a tighter of antibodies. Uh, and uh, treatment of infection. Streptomycin, one gram per day during 10 days. Gentamicin, for example, uh, 80 milligram to time per day during 10 days. Canamicin, two gram per day during 10 days. And uh, antibiotic treatment lasts up to seventh day of normal temperature. Last for seventh day of normal temperature. Uh, and in cases of non-effective treatment, we can administer cephalosporin of third generation. Cetriaxone, for example, Two gram per day. Rifampicin, 0.4 gram per day. And levomycetin. In cases of non effective primary antibiotic treatments, we can administer tefalosparins, rifampicin, levomycetin for treatments of those patients. Uh, what uh, prophylactic of those infection? It is vaccination, vaccination group of risk, the patient uh, which contact with animals, uh, the patient with, which walk in uh, natural focus of infection, geologist, archaeologist, hunters, travelings, 
So vaccination and revaccination after five years of those patients. And uh, maybe prevention, prophylactic infection, emergency uh, prophylactic of infection we, when we administer rifampicin or doxycycline during five days. After contact, for example, with infected animal. You see cutaneous forms of tularemia. You see formation of spot, papule, vesicle, ulcer. Uh, formation of bubons on regional lymphatic nodes. You see infiltration of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes. Sometimes formation of destruction and purulent exudation from bubons. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.